Hi guys, very good evening to you. Uh, my name is Ajay and uh, in this video, video number 312, uh, I'm going to actually answer uh, a question which I received a uh, lot of times from a lot of my subscribers that uh, basically what is the early binding and the lead binding method, right? Where it is used and what does actually it means. So I also have talked about these early binding lead binding in my videos uh, where we connected the outlook uh, with the Excel but today I'm going to dedicate this video uh, specifically talking about that what is the early binding and what is the late binding right so let's go ahead and start the uh, you know let's take the example so guys uh, basically early binding is a method where you tell your VBA program uh, because we are going to talk about the Excel VBA so I'm going to specifically talk about the Excel VBA only where your Excel VBA comes to know that which object basically you are going to declare in advance right when you're going to compile the code before compiling the code Excel VB knows that which object actually it is going to uh, use right for example if I um, definitely I will um, I mean you know give you the example also now just uh, imagine if you want to connect the Outlook code if you want to send an email from your Excel right or maybe you want to open the MS Word uh, or maybe uh, you are actually trying to uh, work with the PowerPoint right uh, for those who are watching the channel for the first time please uh, be informed that uh, we have a lot of videos uploaded on this channel where we connected the outlook with the Excel and the PowerPoint with the Excel and uh, access also which is the database with the Excel right you just need to actually uh, go to the playlist here and you can find it out all those videos Excel we were connecting outlook from Excel Excel VBA connecting access for example look at this this is called the access VBA right so this talks about the access VBA from access if you want to connect the Excel you know the vice versa so this is what I was talking about six videos are on the PowerPoint so late binding and early binding method you know this concept these uh, terms comes into action when you want to connect with the outer application for example if you want to connect with the outlook right so how we write the code we simply go to the visual basic and here the first thing which we do is we go in the tool and the reference i'm talking about this early binding right now you go ahead and select the microsoft outlook library right so these are all the libraries references which are alph alphabetically sorted so you need to pick your microsoft outlook i use excel 2016 office 2016 i have on my machine so that's why you see 16.0 but depending upon your version you know you need to you would have a different number but that really doesn't matter now when you click on the ok and you go back to the tools and the reference this is what exactly you see microsoft outlook 16.0 so here before even the code runs your vba knows that you are supposed to you know uh, you are going to connect with the outlook so let me just uh, write a simple code called send email right i have read, i mean talked about this code a lot in my all those 18 19 videos where we you know made the code guys if you if you if you are watching the channel if you are following the channel regularly uh, connecting outlook with the excel that's called the playlist name and 18 19 videos are there uh, so all the videos are dedicated to those who actually are looking forward to you know uh, working with the outlook if you want to control the outlook from the excel so when you write me in you know i upload the video according to the category and, and i upload the video on the channel for your ease for your you know better uh, understanding uh, for your better i would say that the clarity i upload the videos according to the playlist these all the you know the playlist i was talking about right so you will have here somewhere called excel vba connecting outlook this is the one 18 videos are there right so this is what we are going to do now I simply want to tell you because this is not basically a video on the outlook but just want to tell you that how it works so when you write O as outlook dot application guys now how do you see this outlook object it's simply because of the reason that you have here given the library reference the library outlook 16.0 if I'm going to uncheck this and now if I come back and I see that as you see that outlook is not going to be visible so if the outlook class is not going to be visible you cannot work with the outlook using the early binding so early binding is all about telling your vb in the beginning 
that this is what we need to do we are going to deal with the microsoft outlook or microsoft word whatever right so let me click back here on the outlook this is the outlook click ok and now you see that if i press space i'm going to get back that outlook dot application okay so this is how we write set o equals to new outlook dot application now you you also notice one thing that when you use the early banding it also helps you in finding out the properties in the method associated with that class for example when i write dem o mail as outlook dot you know so this dot basically is coming here and it's showing you the drop down from here you can easily select the required thing you don't have to remember it if you if, if you have an idea you can find it out so the next line which i'm going to write set o mail equals to o dot you see that create item this is the method create item which means that create email uh, associated with this object called outlook because o is now not a simple object it is the outlook object because of these two lines so when you say create item this is how you know all the information comes and this really makes you you know makes this early binding very favorite in among the programmers because using the dot operator you can do a lot of stuff now this is the code which i'm going to write here o mail and then end with now i will simply write here one thing that let's say dot two equals to uh, my email id which is ajk3802 at gmail.com that's my email id and uh, we are going to send this we are going to display this so this is how we write now you know that if i run this let me click here on the f5 okay what will happen the email will be drafted and you will have your pop-up showing in the two this ajk3802 right this is how it is done right now the point is which you need to understand is if i send you this file and you're using the lower version this is 2016 uh the moment you open this file and try to run it you will get the error and the error would come here in the tool reference the library which I have, I have used actually while coding this which is a higher version than yours right i'm talking about specifically when the code is prepared in the higher version and it is sent to the users who are using the lower version right so 16 is the latest version highest version so here what you would see you would see here missing missing microsoft outlook 16.0 kind of a, you know this error it would come let me show you uh, this is how it would come here of course not this registry work this is something else uh, but the missing word would come here guys right and then what you need to do is you need to actually go back here in the tools and you need to uncheck that because you don't want that missing and then using your browse option or maybe here you know scroll it down and you will actually activate your own library same outlook library but with the different version okay so that and then you will be able to run the code so this is called the early binding now Sometimes programmers also what they do is um, uh, they want to they, they also use the another uh, binding method which is called the late binding. Now what is the late binding? In the late binding, what you do actually the VBA when the code runs, you know, after reading your the code, it decides actually what it has to do. I mean the object gets created. You don't have to use this then tools in the library. And then the good thing about it the advantage of the late binding is that it works on all the versions so you don't have to tell your user if they are using the lower version that first you know when you open this and run this first uncheck this and you first check mark your own library no in the late binding you don't do that right so in the late binding how it works so basically what you need to do wherever you have declared the objects for example dim word i'm talking about you just need to let me simply copy this i will not overwrite it I will rather comment this line so that it should not be executed so this line has to be simply object object right we will create the object right and this line which is set o equals to new dot application this line you will have to change it and you will have to make it create object this is the standard line you will have to write it and then in the double quote you write whatever the application you're going to deal with so i'm going to write the email so obviously i will create the outlook dot application okay this is called the create object and i can comment this line this is not required guys right similarly outlook email item also i'm going to copy this and uh, i'm going to paste it here so here again you will have to remove this because this is a dim word you will write here object let me just comment this again and here in the, in specifically in the case of outlook what you need to do is 
uh, you would write the same thing but in the old mail item you write here zero okay this is how the code works and I comment this line right now you can see there see here that we have we have, we have simply said that create the object and then here this line which is says create object it's a case insensitive you can write it in whatever you know way you want as long as the spellings are correct VBA will not give you the error okay now I'm going to do one thing I'm simply going to remove this reference and we will like to see that whether the code is going to run or not right so if you remember uh, the last time I mean if, if you use the early binding method and you just in case if you remove this reference the moment you run this line will throw the error user type not defined I have talked about this in my previous videos but this time you know we are simply saying that let us create the object so object depending upon your version that object will be created it is not a you know version specific so if I'm gonna run this this is what I was talking about sub or function not defined so I guess there is some spelling mistake yeah that's actually object it's not I did some spelling mistake that's it okay create object right so I'll just go ahead and run this there we go the code ran and as you can see here I'm gonna have the display and we have the display here so guys this is how the programmers work now all I mean both the libraries are uh, fine uh, you can use whatever library you are comfortable with you have a choice you can use any of it but uh, you know I, I told you the difference that if you're sure that your audience is going to uh, use the same version in which you have prepared the code you can go for the early binding or even if you have paid the code for example in the lower version 2007 and you're sending it to somebody who is using 2010 or you know the higher version 13 16 automatically the, there will be no error uh, you know the library is going to pick up right from the lower version to the higher version they get automatically picked but from the higher to the lower you have a problem right so another actually good thing about the early binding is that you can also convert it to a uh, you know your this uh, the late binding for example uh, if, if you directly write this uh, late binding you may feel difficult for example right now if I directly write here a macro call let's D and the same macro which is to display the email so how will you write it you will write here O as you know outlook dot application uh, sorry object and then uh, you will declare set O equals to create object so this is a simple line you can remember it I do understand so you write here outlook dot application that's fine but you know the next line when you're gonna write o mail for example as object the next how you going to define it this is a little difficult difficult to remember because here the dot operator will not work because there's a lead binding okay so that's why what people do is uh, they uh, act very smart they first prepare the code in the early binding and then they you know edit the code like we did because in the early binding method you can use the dot operator so when you, you when you when you can use the dot operator when you press here dot this create item would automatically come so this is also the reason right now I can also show you one more example for example you want to open the PowerPoint so let's say open PowerPoint PowerPoint this is so first we are going to understand it using the early binding so for the early binding you have to go to the tools you have to making sure that the library should have that Microsoft uh, PowerPoint so I just scroll it down where the P starts Microsoft O and then yeah 16.0 you check mark this and now what we are going to do we're going to say that O uh, dim O P P T let's say as PowerPoint now you see that the PowerPoint word comes because of the library right otherwise it won't come then you will write set O PPT equals to new PowerPoint dot application perfect and the last line which you would like to write here is that I want to make it visible okay you can write true or MS true that's not going to create any problem now when I'm going to run this see what happens on the screen there we go I ran this enter and uh, the PowerPoint application uh, it's not coming uh, just a second we I think uh, uh, we should have actually got this uh, just a second I want to actually close this the PowerPoint slide which I have prepared so let me just save this and close this okay now let's let us go ahead and run this there we go look at this guys right because the PowerPoint was already already on so that's why the code did not work right because 
the instance of the PowerPoint was already activated. But look at this. This is how the PowerPoint is activated, right? Now, if you want to change the code to the uh, late binding, what will you do? You will simply edit this. You will write here, this is going to be object. And this, I hope now you know that what you need to do, create object. Which object? In the code, you'll write here, PowerPoint dot application. This is called the late binding, right? Rest code remains same, and now you don't have to on the library, so I'm just simply going to remove it, and there will be no error. There will be no error like function or user type not defined. Let me run this, guys. Look at this, right? So this is also activated. So in this way, you can activate the PowerPoint as well, right? Similarly, uh, you can create one more thing. For example, what if you want to create the MS Word? Then you know, again, you go to the tool and the reference, and you select that option called Microsoft Word. So when, when you select that Microsoft Word application, this is this is where you will write that O word as you know as word. The word would come if you select that. I'm just trying to explain you, right? So this is how it would come, and here you would have the word, and the you know the word application can be opened using the these uh, these three lines. So here you will have the O word, right? But if you want to make it again the late binding, you just need to use this the dim word, you know. You got to make this as object and uh, by the way sorry this is not going to be the create object this is going to be the new word dot application okay like this right now i'm not seeing this option obviously because of the reason that i don't have that library on here microsoft word so if i run this i will get the error look at this user type not defined so basically your excel vb doesn't know that what it you know this line means word dot application you have to tell and if you want to Tell the VBA you got to go here, Microsoft, and uh, quickly scroll it down. Microsoft Word, W comes in the last. So here you need to on this library like this. Now, when I run this option, if, if this time I run this, there will be no error, right? So we because we have actually linked it and the word would open. You can see here the word is open. This word is open, right? So similarly, if I have to change this code, you know what you need to do. You simply uh, need to remove this as object and here you will write create object in the packet within the code you write word dot application and that in. so this is how the early binding and the late my binding you know concepts are right so i hope this has cleared your doubts and uh, next time whenever you use this, these methods uh, choose it wisely make sure that your audience you know what they are actually using you should be aware of it if you have any questions leave your comments guys and if you haven't subscribed to the channel <laughs> as always i request you to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will be back